Hey there, fellow athletes. Clayton here at Natural Wellness Physiotherapy. I want to talk today about uh, the big toe and how it can be making a big impact on your running and pretty much any movement that we do throughout the day, whether it's walking or running. It's a big factor because it's the last thing to leave the ground when you're running. It's the last thing to be touching before the foot comes off the ground. It gives us our natural spring motion into the next step. Our goal with it is trying to get 90 degrees of extension. So looking at the big toe, um, if we look at this bone here, and then of course the big toe itself, when we pull that puppy up, we want a good 90 degrees of extension. If we don't have that, then it leads to a whole slew of issues kind of up the chain. We'll start having to turn our foot outwards to try to push off, which leads to like bunions, pain on the inside of the big toe. It sometimes can lead to like this swing around phase, sometimes leads to like tight hip flexor pain. So sometimes issues all the way down there may be presenting themselves as ankle, knee, or hip pain. So I uh, want to give you a couple tools to kind of attack that and get it figured out. The first one is um, maybe kind of just while you're watching TV, uh, bring your foot up and just grab that puppy. So um, the joint itself, the surfaces kind of look like this. So we just kind of want to get it moving. So it's sliding and gliding it like it needs to be. So grasp the big toe right, right close to the joint and then grab the foot itself and kind of just move that thing back and forth. Kind of just shifting it up and down similar to the, the motion that it's going to be doing through flexion and extension. The second option, which is a little bit more aggressive, but really gets things taken care of for you, is coming down to sit it on your seating on your knees, but having those toes tucked under and then kind of just sitting down on it. It feels terrible. It should, but it gets results and it gets results pretty quick. Hanging out here for 30 seconds, minute, two minutes, whatever you can handle. Shouldn't be like severely increasing pain, but it's, it's welcoming your body to these new motions that you may not have had before. So maybe kind of rocking back and forth, trying to really work on that extension while we're watching TV. It's a good one to kind of just do while we're mindlessly watching. This is our first thing we like to look at on like our pain-free runners checklist. So if you want that and you want to kind of see how the rest of your body is moving, uh, download that below. But like I said, it's our first thing because it's usually the first thing that's overlooked, but it can make the biggest impact in the long run. So if you're a runner and you're wanting to try to get to running pain-free and not have issues, download that thing below, comment below, or DM us for any questions. But until next time, this is Clayton at Natural Wellness Physiotherapy.